this video, I'll show you how to fix the Windows Security Center service is turned off or missing in Windows 10 and 11. If you have a similar issue with Windows Security not turning on or the service is being missing, do the following four steps to resolve the issue. For the first step, we're going to reset the Windows Security app. Click on the search box and let's type Windows Security. Right click on the Windows Security from the suggestions and select App Settings. Scroll down, click on Repair, and then Reset. And close the Settings app. For the second step, we will download and apply registry files to fix the issue. Download the wscsv.reg registry file from the links in the video's descriptions. Also, download the wscsvc64 file as well. Once downloaded, right click on the zip files and select extract all. You can extract the content to any location you want and delete the original zip files. Now let's apply the registry file. So open the wscsvc.trick folder and double click on the file to run it. Click run, then yes, and yes again to apply the registry changes. Now let's open the command file and here we need to execute both of these commands. Open the command prompt as an administrator. Copy the first command and let's paste it in the command prompt and press enter to execute. Once it's done, let's go back and copy the second command and paste it and execute it. For the third step, we're going to replace the DLL file. Copy the wscsvc.dll file from the extracted folder and let's navigate to the C drive, then Windows, then sys wow64. Right click in the folder and select paste to replace the existing file. Click continue to confirm. For the fourth step, we're going to make sure the Windows security service is running. Click on the search box and let's type services. And open the services app. Scroll down to the W section by clicking on the W key on your keyboard and let's find Windows security service. Once you find it, double click on it and make sure the service is running. If the service is not running, click on the start button. Now, if the start option is grayed out, restart your computer and try again. Once done with all the steps, restart your computer and check to see if the issue has been resolved. Now, hopefully this will fix your issue and please let me know in the comment section if this has worked for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful videos like this. Thank you for watching.